Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Fake Industrial Control Firmware. If you haven't heard of ICS, it's an acronym that stands for Industrial Control Systems, which of course is the technology and computing systems that run critical infrastructure or industrial systems like uh, energy plants, nuclear plants, water plants, and other utilities like that. You might have also heard of a related acronym, SCADA, which stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. And these are kind of the visibility management systems that are used to monitor uh, a lot of the other devices in the uh, ICS environment. In any case, researchers at Dragos, which is a company that is involved with ICS security, recently released a blog post talking about some research they did to confirm whether or not there was many ICS related attacks. Now at a high level, it looks like these researchers basically collected malware samples that were used in a number of different ICS related uh, infections, whether it be targeted or untargeted infections, and they used virus total to do some comparisons and analysis of these sorts of attacks. In their post, Drago says they started this research because they actually didn't think the threat against ICS was that big. There has been very significant targeted ICS attacks. Stuxnet is the obvious example where a very advanced piece of malware specifically targeted ICS systems. In fact, it specifically infected PLCs or programmable logic controllers for a very specific manufactured product. However, besides Stuxnet, there's only evidence for a small number of actual targeted ICS attacks. Nonetheless, Dragos believes that vendors in the security industry are making a big deal about these ICS attacks, so they wanted some sort of quantifiable data around how big a deal this particular threat really is. And they had a number of takeaways which do show that ICS uh, organizations, you know, utilities, nuclear power plants, and so on, are suffering from certain attacks. First of all, they found significant evidence that many of these organizations suffer from just run-of-the-mill malware. You know, this is an untargeted attack where it might be just normal crimeware, like ransomware, that you might launch against anybody. And apparently some of the operators of these facilities would succumb to that normal criminal malware. But the big finding here, the one I mentioned in the headline of this video, is the fact that they also found a very specific targeted piece of malware. This malware actually pretended to be a firmware update for Simmons Software, one of the manufacturers of ICS devices and software. So it obviously was trying to target anybody that's involved with the ICS organization that might use this software. Now the malware itself was nothing like Stuxnet. This is not malware that really targeted the actual underlying ICS system. It wouldn't actually infect a programmable logic controller or look for Simmons software on the victim computer. Rather, it turned out to be just normal crimeware, so maybe a Trojan or something else. So these attackers are targeting ICS vendors, but they may not be actually sophisticated enough or, or uh, uh, focused enough to go after the ICS system themselves. That said, Dragos concluded that this research does show that ICS organizations are under a targeted threat. And sometimes even the operational security of the people at these organizations is not up to snuff. So long story short, their findings found that ICS operators should be concerned with a number of threats. It won't always be a Stuxnet level sophisticated attack, but some criminal attackers may just be using ICS as the lure to get you to install normal run-of-the-mill crimeware. Anyways, I just thought it was interesting research, and the practical takeaway for ICS organizations is you definitely need to consider your, your operational security. Whether you just have your business network connected to the internet and you actually even air gap the rest of your network, Bad guys are actually targeting you, so make sure to follow security best practices. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.